Right, hello and welcome to a completely unscripted, unplanned video. I was just driving home from filming another video and I came across this sign of Helford in East Ayrshire. One village, two trophies. This village has an incredible footballing story. Sorry, I just had to shout as that, um, as that lorry went past. There's another one coming past, so I need to shout again. This village has an incredible footballing story that I've literally just found out about. So, let's go and investigate why this is one village with two trophies. Helford, let's go. And I'm about to go and explore the one village with two trophies. I can't wait to show you. It's going to be amazing, honestly. And talking of two trophies, there are only two competitions that are currently running in Scotland, the Premiership and the Championship. If you want to keep up to date with the Premiership and the Championship, then download One Football. As I'm still able to make videos in this strange time, One Football have been good enough to sponsor me. And what absolute legends. You can go down to the first link in the description box below and download it. The more downloads I get, the more chance I, they are of sponsoring me again, which means I can make more videos that you'll enjoy in the future, especially as things open up. It's going to get bigger and better, but it's completely free and you can keep up to date with the championship and the premiership. If you want, you can start each individual league and get notifications on when match, matches start or anything else happens within that league, any news or whatever. And it's also great just for general football news on the homepage as I've showed just now. But yeah, please do download One Football. It's the first link in the description box below. It's free and it supports my channel. Win-win. Thank you very much. And let's get off and explore this amazing footballing village. The Thistle, the pub in the area. One of the pubs, I guess. One of the teams was called Hurlford Thistle. Is that a link to this pub? I'm not sure, but there is something on the side of this pub just around here that I really need to show you quickly. Look at that beautiful little river down there. What a lovely place Hurlford is. But look, even on the side of the pub, they've got this poster here. History, one village, two Scottish Cups. One, of, I think that's the Junior Cup, isn't it? And that's the Hurlford Thistle. It looks like one of the amateur and maybe United won the Junior. But more on that in a sec. I just need to, uh, yeah, I've just Googled a stadium. Now, usually I'm so clued up on where I need to go, what I need to say and what's kind of going on with the teams, but I'm really doing it on the fly just now. And uh, yeah, how exciting. Right, it's time to go and uh, check out the stadium. But yeah, it looks like Thistle and United were the two teams, two trophies, two big prestigious trophies for this level. And they were won by one village just a few weeks apart. Hang on right there and we'll go down to see the stadium and see if we can't um, find out a little bit more about these two amazing teams and this amazing story. And yeah, just by chance, look, the world's nicest groundsman has let me in to the Helford United Stadium. Now, I did just find something online because it was literally just I was driving through this uh, small village of Hel Helford where I said one village, two trophies. And so I need to tell you about two teams. So this is where Helford United play, but I was just chatting to the groundsman. Apparently Helford Thistle do sometimes play here as well, but there is another stadium that they play at or another ground. So I'm going to have to go and check that out in a second. Helford Thistle and Helford United joined Provost Gym from the new road signs marking their amazing achievement winning the Scottish Junior Cup and the Scottish Amateur Cup just weeks apart. So yeah, the Scottish Junior Cup, I do go on about that a lot. Hang on, let me just uh, get under here. Yeah, the Scottish Junior Cup, I do go on about that a lot. And uh, yeah, one of these teams won it. I obviously, obviously come and do my research before I come to these things. But the fact that I just literally stumbled upon this is quite amazing. And um, yeah, now I'm here inside one of the grounds. There we go, Ayrshire's finest. Browning's the Bakers. And yeah, what an absolutely lovely ground just to stumble upon. I mean, driving through this village and seeing a sign about football and then just coming in here and taking a quick peek around, obviously doing everything safely, not touching anything or going near anyone or whatever. But yeah, just look at that, Helford United. I am gonna have to have a look at this story in a little bit more detail, but the fact I just saw it, I had to come and investigate. And there is another ground somewhere very close. So I hope you enjoyed the shots from in here, but it's time to head to the other stadium of Helford, Helford, I don't even know where I am. It's time to head to the other stadium of Helford Thistle. Right, and so according to 
the world's nicest groundsman over at Hurlford United. This is apparently where Hurlford Thistle play. Now, not quite as nice as the Hurlford United ground, but from what I just saw online really quickly there, was that they actually have ground share, and that's what he did say, they sometimes play their games there. But look, as you can see, there are markings of an old pitch here. If It's very boggy. It, of course, hasn't been played on for so long now. This level of Scottish football has just been obviously cancelled for a year, which is so sad when you consider these kind of stories. I mean, look at me just out here now, just exploring this amazing story as I drove through Helford. Now, if you do know anything about this great story, then do let me know in the comments below. But basically, this team here, the Thistle team, won the Scottish Amateur Cup. And then Helford United, from what I just saw online while I was just researching it very quickly there, won the Scottish Junior Cup. Now, the Scottish Junior Cup is huge. And I was literally talking about it in my Kill Winning Rangers video that I've just been filming at their abandoned stadium. That's when I pulled over and saw the One Village Two Trophies. Now, what do you think about the amount of teams in Scotland? I do get comments from a lot of my subscribers saying there are too many teams in this country and this tiny little village has two teams. Obviously both were successful in the year of 2014 when they both won two quite prestigious cups for their level. However, does a team of this village really need, of uh, this size, does a village of this size rather, need two teams? Now I guess it would have come from back in the day when travel wasn't as easy between areas and local areas needed football teams to be able to watch. So I guess it was, they were both originally made to compete against each other in these regional leagues that have since been kind of cast to one side since the invention of modern day football and Sky and BT and all these streaming services where you can just watch the best leagues in the world now because no one can really come and watch football here when you could just watch it inside in the warm, the best leagues in the world. It's so sad and it's so sad that these teams can't currently play. But I'm so buzzing that I just pulled over, saw that sign on the village. What a great football connection this has. You know I love exploring these football stories and I'm going to keep exploring them as best I can even during the time when I can't really get inside anywhere. It's just pot luck that I got in the stadium there. Not that it was indoors, it was outdoors. I didn't touch anything, that kind of stuff. So they're, they're the kind of things that I've got to take into account when I make my videos at the moment. But yes, hopefully next week we get some good news on restrictions and stuff and certain things are lifted and I can start planning normal stuff again. We really need Scottish football to start at the level below the championship again, I believe. It's dying, it's absolutely dying. And the fact they're saying it's not going to be till March, that just worries me that it's going to be pushed even further. It's not a date to start it again. It's just a date that they're going to review it again. But yes, please do remember to like this video. This is completely off the cuff. And uh, yeah, it doesn't have my usual level of research, but I hope you've enjoyed it anyway. I love going to see Halford uh, United. I'm now at Halford Thistle. But yeah, two tiny little village clubs, I guess you could say. I don't know if they're tiny, I suppose in the grand scheme of football they're not very big won two quite prestigious cups here in scotland from the same village in the same year just a few weeks apart what a great story that is do let me know if there's any others that you want me to investigate in this time like i say please do like this video and subscribe i'll leave some videos around my head as ever so you can keep watching my content thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one